uh, powered by OpenStack. But to give us uh, a direct example of uh, one of the users that's really starting to aggressively roll out OpenStack, we've got the cloud lead from OVH, Maxime Hertel. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. As most of you have never heard about OVH, our company was founded in 1999 by a freshly graduated student named Octave Klaba, who built the first data center in the attic of his parents. A few years later, OVH offered bare metal servers, exposed a developer-friendly API, and eventually moved that data center to Paris. It quickly became the largest French infrastructure provider. Today, we offer pretty all flavor of clouds, including the latest public, public cloud we've just launched a few months ago. And uh, this is, of course, based on OpenStack. A key thing you need to know about OVH is that we build everything ourselves, from data centers to servers, even including the desk we would use every day. OVH is today the largest European infrastructure provider with data centers in Europe and in America. We have plans to open new ones uh, in other European countries, in Asia, and also here in the US in the upcoming months. We also built and operate our own network throughout the world with uh, 32 points of presence and a total connectivity of 5.5 terabit per second. And as I just said, we build our own servers. It means we have access to the latest technology from our tech suppliers, and we can optimize the servers, especially for our data centers, to then offer the best performance to our customers. Actually, we've got 250,000 currently running in our infrastructures, and we build up to 500 new every day. Let's talk about our love story with OpenStack. It all started in 2012 with Swift, uh, allowing us to scale our uh, personal cloud storage solutions. Two years later, we entered the public cloud market for servers with Nova, uh, offering instances that would combine the flexibility of the cloud and the performance you would get from bare metal servers. We got great feedback from our early adopters, from internal users also, because we use uh, OpenStack also to, to build some products on. And uh, we released that product uh, worldwide uh, in 2015. We had great reviews from developers all over the world because this offer was uh, combining a simplified billing and uh, also great performance with a no noisy neighbor approach. Today, we are really busy working uh, adding new functionality, functioning three uh, following three different passes, adding new functionality from OpenStack, integrating with other OVH products and working on real new features you wouldn't have seen anywhere else, and uh, I'm about to share you some of them now. Let's talk about a few numbers. We now host 75 petabytes on Swift, so that's our production cluster. We've been uh, scaling uh, from uh, 2012 up to today. We have 70,000 instances running today in our different pods ranging from 2 gigs to 240 gigs uh, of RAM for, for each of these instances. And to get an actual uh, idea of the level of usage, last month our users spawned 430,000 servers uh, on our OpenStack uh, public cloud. But let's get into the details about how we attained that success. Some of our users are like you, Agile, Ninja, DevOps. Uh, they know the OpenStack API, and for them, we expose Vanilla API and uh, the Horizon clients. But some of them are not. And that's why we simplify the process and build, for example, this really easy to use web interface, where you can see here uh, a user spawning a new server in the North American data centers. It will then uh, create uh, a Cinder volume and attach the Cinder volume to the server it just created. It's really easy to use. You can. Uh, you can uh, use that even if you have never used any cloud anywhere. Uh, but let's get into uh, some more technical uh, ways we have uh, innovated around OpenStack. As we were scaling, we also uh, hit some bottlenecks at the, at the network level. So two years ago, in 2014, we embarked on a project to remove the network node from the north-south uh, network flow. This allowed us to uh, uh, drastically improve the performance for our customers 
uh, and offer them the, the best experience they would get uh, on a network level. Another way we have improved is uh, integrating the OVH VRAC technology. So here is what you would get uh, actually in a typical OpenStack installation. You can create multiple private networks in a single region uh, of your OpenStack. What uh, VRAC brings you is the ability to link those private networks, those VLANs, uh, between regions. It means uh, between data centers in our case. You can also link in those private VLANs other products from OVH, such as uh, bare metal servers or dedicated cloud, for example. All this is worldwide, and we are about to uh, expose that publicly in production in a few days. I encourage you to test that out. So as you just uh, could read and could, could, uh, as you could get, we are big fans of OpenStack at OVH, and we are also a proud infrastructure donor. This means that a significant part of the bugs, corrections, and the features you benefit from every day are actually tested and integrated uh, in our data centers. One of, his, one of OVH's mission is to uh, put OpenStack in hands of, of more and more dev and ops all around the world. And uh, as you can see, this is just the beginning for us. All my colleagues and I are eager to, to share with you some more information over the next few days. And uh, you will recognize us with uh, this uh, blue shirt or white hoodies. Thank you again, and uh, have a great summit. <laughs>